Hey, Hometown Church. I want to talk just for a few minutes here on the topic of patience. Not because I'm an expert in this area. Actually, far from it. It's not one of my strongest character qualities. But it is one of my favorite qualities of God. As I've thought about how God has been so patient with me over the years as he's raised me as his son. You know, I think right now, patience is a key thing for us. With all that's going on around us, the uncertainty, uh, the chaos, maybe in your own life or in your relationships, in your circumstances, we're going to need patience as we work with each other, as we work through our circumstances, as we deal with God, trying to understand what He's doing. And uh, I just want to encourage you with some verses here this morning from Romans chapter 15. You know, the uh, reason why I picked up the game of golf when I was a young man is uh, it's a pretty easy game. You don't really need patience. Actually, that's only partly true. You don't really need patience if you don't mind really high scores. And that's been true for me. As my patience goes down on the golf course, my scores tend to go up. And I think it's because I have this desire to hit this ball in a certain direction. And uh, when it doesn't go in that direction, well, then I get frustrated. See, I've lost control of the flight of the ball and its destination. And you know, that's true for us as well in our lives. We uh, feel this sense of frustration or loss of patience when, when maybe we don't have control over the things in the ways that we would like. So I want to read these verses to you. Romans 15, 4 through 6. And the scriptures give us hope and encouragement as we wait patiently for God's promises to be fulfilled. May God, who gives this patience and encouragement, help you to live in complete harmony with each other as is fitting for followers of Christ Jesus. Then all of you can join together with one voice, giving praise and glory to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I really like that, that passage. I've been thinking about it over the last number of weeks. Actually, God's been bringing this topic of patience around in a number of different ways. And what I really love about this is it it's telling us that it's God who gives us this patience. Now, you can try to be patient. I've certainly tried to be patient, uh, but it hasn't really worked for me. And, uh, and, and I'm not saying you shouldn't try to be patient, but that's not going to get us to where we need to go. What we need is we need for God to do this in our lives. He's the one who gives us patience. Now, he, it says here that that happens as we look to him and understand that he has these promises that he's going to fulfill. Even if things seem out of control and chaos, God is not impatient. And uh, he's not really worried. He's not uh, feeling this sense of urgency that sometimes you and I do. He's, he's calm. He's patient because he knows that he will work his plan. And so what's our responsibility in this? Well, again, we could try harder, but that's not going to get us where we need to go. We need to cling to him. We need to look to him. We need to claim this verse here that says that God is the one who gives us this patience and encouragement. You know, as I think about what we need, we need a love for one another as we work through these things. And in 1 Corinthians 13, the first attribute in the description of love is that love is patient. I've been thinking about Galatians as well. As, as patience is one of the fruits of the Spirit. It's number four on the list. Love, joy, peace, patience. And so as we cling to God, as we, we hang out with Him and, and recognize that He's patient, He's not worried and concerned. He's not surprised by the things that are going on. We too can cling to that. If, you ever, if you've ever been around somebody who's, who's really patient, sometimes it really helps you to to be patient as well when you're with that person. But well, we have the Holy Spirit living inside of us, and He's perfectly patient. So I want to encourage you, as we work through the challenges that we're facing, to continue to exercise patience as you cling to God and allow His patience to flow through you. Cling to His promises, the promise that He's going to be victorious. He knows what He's doing. I think we'll find some other things there too. We'll find hope and peace and joy, all the things that we're going to need as we work through this together. And I love this last part here where it says that we would live in complete harmony with one another. 
We can join together with one voice giving praise and glory to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's really what God desires, that we look to Him and we give Him glory as we're in harmony with one another. Love you guys, and we'll talk to you soon.